Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in today. Today we're going to run through a short little presentation on how to take a look at Aptivo as a new user and figure out how to best configure it to match your business process. Now you might have looked around and thought, oh no, Aptivo's it's very complex. There's a lot of different moving parts to it. And while that's certainly true, we can definitely help kind of break it down today in a manner where you only have to look at those apps that are relevant to you. We can give you an idea of how they'll fit into your business process and give you a lot more confidence moving forward. So let's take a quick moment and just talk about, well, what is Aptivo? Aptivo is a suite of online business applications. We have about 45, 50 apps in total. They all serve a different purpose, but they integrate with each other. The idea behind Aptivo is that every business has different needs and they have different needs at different times. You might be looking for just a CRM platform right now. Maybe you need just supply chain or maybe you need some combination of the two, like I need to do project management, track my time, and then invoice for it. The way Aptivo is designed is around our app store where I can pick and choose these various applications that I need right now and then build them into a business process. So Aptivo has many different apps and what we're looking at right here is just one example flow that you can set up where you're utilizing components from our CRM, from our project management, you're using the mobile applications and our invoicing app and they're all put together to forge one end-to-end -end process so from an initial lead coming in from your website all the way to closing the deal and collecting payment from them, Aptivo is going to have an integrated flow for you to step through. But this flow might differ based on two things. One is, well, what industry are you in? Which applications are the right fit for your company and your process types? And then there's also the question of, what are you looking to do right now? You might not have any existing software in place, and maybe you're just looking to start with a simple customer database and billing system. Or maybe you have a bunch of different systems in place, and your end vision is to replace all of them with Aptivo, but right now your key need is to get a great project management system online. So Aptivo is definitely configured with this in mind. We understand every business is looking for something different. So our app store is set up in an a la carte type, type fashion where you'll get access to the whole system. There's no per app fees or anything like that. But every app that you have available in Aptivo, it's always available for you to go turn on and start using whenever you feel it's appropriate for your company. So if you're looking for just a simple point solution, not a problem. Aptivo can be configured just like that where I do invoicing only or if you want to figure out that whole end-to-end -end solution, go, go live on day one, it's not a problem. Aptivo is designed where you can start wherever you'd like, and it will continue to grow with you without having to grow the cost that your business incurs. Now, the whole platform, regardless of which applications you use, we have a set of common features. And this is called contextual collaboration. It's one of the key things of Aptivo, is especially if you're already adopting multiple different systems, you might have a calendar in three different systems. So in order to know what's really on your agenda, you have to go log into three different platforms and it just turns into a bit of a nightmare. So one of the keys of Aptivo is we have your common collaboration features. So we have a calendar, we have a task list, we have an area for you to manage emails, log phone calls, set reminders in the future, and then also areas for you just to store away all of your information, whether it be stored in a file like a Word document or a PowerPoint, or whether you have it stored in just some notes, maybe just typed up some notes when you're on the phone call with the customer. We have different application features. Um, they're available in every single app, and they all help you manage all these different pieces of information you're going to want. Because you might want to take notes on a sales prospect, just like you want to take notes on a project meeting, just like you want to take notes on a work order from your technician on site. So although you might have different business processes and different teams in play, they're all going to want to rely on this central set of features. So one of the keys of Aptivo is we give you one single agenda when you log in. No matter how many apps you use, you're going to have a single task list. It'll show you all of your tasks from the various modules just based on what you've put into the system. So everything's centered around those. But now let's talk a little bit more in the scope of the apps. I mean, what is this solution we're talking about? We have 40 plus apps available in the system. And the apps that you choose to run your business process, just the combination of apps is what we call a solution. And we do have several common combinations that we can recommend just based on the industry that you're in and the type of process you want to run. When we try to look at Aptivo at a very high level though and just think, well, what is the business purpose behind our various applications? What it comes down to is there's three primary chunks of business process that can generically apply to any company type, well, almost without exception. And that would be sales, acquiring deals, 
managing the fulfillment of your deals, so tracking your jobs, your work orders, your projects, whatever application fits your business. So delivering that service or product out to your customer. And then there's the aspect of collecting payment from your customer. Another part of the module which isn't shown here is customer support. So after you sell to them, how do you manage the relationship with them moving forward? But as far as acquiring business, these are really the three key areas of your business process. Now what we have is a set of applications to help you manage your sales. That's part of our CRM module. We also have an estimates app for doing quotations up front. It's also considered part of the sales process, but it is built into our financials module. And then the key is that in the middle, so once you close a deal, the fulfillment app is actually what changes based on your business type. So regardless of what type of company you are, you can always take advantage of Aptivo's contacts app, it's just kind of the core of the CRM. You may or may not want to track sales, but if you do, you're going to use the same apps as every other company, although you might configure them differently. But when it comes to closing your deal and tracking your service, you might need to launch a project and organize the next three months of activities and get all the scheduling in order. And then as far as invoicing your client, you may, you may need to track the hours you spent in the project or maybe you had agreed upon some predefined phases and you need to just track when you're billing this customer. So you need one area where you can go in there and track the full delivery of everything. In that case, you'll see we got this projects app in that spot. Equivalent to that, you might just have to sell a physical product and ship it out to your customer. So when you close a deal, all you need to do is create an order in this case. And then there's some other examples like the work orders or the kit orders, which we'll talk about in just a second. But the key here is you see all of the flows, they start in the same spot in sales. They end in the same spot on invoicing or billing. But the fulfillment is what truly changes based on your business type. So when we're talking about solutions, it's going to center around the fulfillment application. Now one little side note before we hop into the next slide and take a look at the actual solutions. The side note here is sometimes you won't even be using a fulfillment app. We spoke about you might be looking for just a simple CRM system. Our recommended approach for Aptivo is even if you only plan on implementing a single part of the apps right now, we, we recommend that you identify your end solution so you can have an idea of how you should build moving forward. And in six months, when you want to start adopting new apps, you'll have an idea of which apps you should go flip on, and that'll just plug right into your existing process. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's take a look at these end-to-end -end solutions based on the industries. Okay, so what we have here are five of our most common solutions. These five solutions will fit about 99% of companies out there. If you've got something unique that's not on here, please let us know, and we'll absolutely recommend a solution for you. But let's just go ahead and let's run through these five. We'll quickly talk about them, who they're for, and then we'll, um, we'll hop into the next slide and just kind of break down one final piece of the puzzle, which is, well, how do you actually implement these solutions? All right, so first is our most common one. It's project time tracking and billing. This is just in general for a professional services company. It centers around the project management, so you'll see it has a focus on the projects app as its fulfillment app, and the key features of this is it allows you to easily manage a large series of activities. So if you have tasks going on over multiple months, we have a great automatic scheduling system. It's very easy to track your hours and effort inside of these projects. And then all of this very smoothly flows into the billing capabilities. So there's also some other cool features in here, like if you have uh, subcontractors, you can have them generate timesheets, invoice from those timesheets. All of this is bundled into the project time tracking and billing solution. As far as a few example industries it's good for, it's great for an IT professional like a web designer, web developer, really almost anybody in IT, um, any sort of legal or financial services, an attorney, um, an accountant, anything like that. Really just any type of consultant, it's a, I know it's very generic, but at the same time this, this is a very common type of solution, almost everybody can take advantage. And then one other example would just be a real estate industry, if you're doing a long real estate process. You can launch a project and track the whole application and offer and sale process. So project time track and billing, most popular solution for professional service companies. Our next most popular solution is for field service management. And this one's actually quite similar. I mean, you could technically call either of them a professional service company. But the key difference in field service management would be while project time tracking and billing has an emphasis on specifically services rather than any sort of products, 
Field service management includes the ability to track time and materials. So the two key features of field service management are time and materials tracking on each job. So you can include products from your central product database right on top of the hours that your technicians add. And you can also have a more in-depth scheduling system as far as scheduling single jobs and coordinating um, the different teams that are available, assigning the right team to the right job and all that. Uh, the key difference is the project has no items integration whatsoever. And the work order app is also better when you need to dispatch people off-site. So that's the, the field service management. And just for some example industries of this one, if you're just like an, a handyman or maintenance, if you got to do any sort of like little fixes, any little jobs where you just commonly go off. So it's really common for like an apartment complex or somebody owns a series of buildings for property management. And then you have construction, uh, typically for smaller scale construction, such as a bathroom remodel, where you're only going to go out, of course, maybe a few visits. If you have a much more long and in-depth uh, process, like let's say you're constructing a new building, then actually the first solution of project time tracking and billing is a little bit better of a fit. And some other examples would be like an electrician or any sort of um, professional service in the construction related industry or even like IT repair. The key thing is if you've got to send people off site, you're almost certainly going to want the field service management solution. Now for these other three, they're a little bit less commonly used. Um, Aptivo certainly kind of would cater a little bit more towards service based companies but we've been putting a lot of effort into beefing up these last few solutions as well. So the product sales and the build to order sales process are actually very similar to each other. Build to order sales, it has a lot of overlap with the others. This one's a little bit more unique than everything else. So first of all, the product sales process. This is the solution for people who carry physical products. So if you're an e-commerce company, you're selling t-shirts, shoes, whatever it might be. If you're just distributing product or you're manufacturing product, you're doing like IT hardware sales, all of this fits into the product sales process. It's centered around the orders app, uh, also you'll hear it referred to as the sales orders app, and it's really, it's key is managing the shipment of the product, so it has an integrated flow to generate a packing slip, track when it's shipped out the door and everything like that. It has connections to our inventory management, so when an order comes in, your inventory is automatically reduced, and then orders can be passed into the same um, invoicing application. Although the first example industry you see here is e-commerce. So in the e-commerce scenario, there's actually a great little WordPress plugin for, um, for you to connect to your website. And in this case, there's actually some payment integration directly on the order. So if you collect payment at time of placing the order, we do have the ability to track that. So that's the product sales process. And the key thing there is inventory. A lot of the time, a company who sells physical products will actually fit into this next solution, which is the build to order sales process. But this can even include service-based companies, and I'll explain that in just a second. The key here is it's focused on the kit orders application. The kit order serves the same purpose as the others. It's to intake a new order from your customer. But the whole build the order sales process is designed for a company who you don't actually have the product yourself. Maybe you're just purchasing and reselling the product. Um, maybe you're drop shipping, as you see as an example here. Or maybe you're going to buy the product and then you're going to add your own service. Maybe you're going to customize it. Uh, you purchase something and then you take additional effort. Maybe you package it up with some other products that you've purchased. But the idea is every time you intake an order from your customer, you need to immediately turn around and purchase either all or components of that order from your suppliers. So what this does is instead of having the inventory and shipping integration like the Orders app, it has a full connection to the procurement suite. So the idea is that you can actually fill out a quote for your customer. When you're giving them a quote, let's say I'm quoting them for um, a few pieces of IT hardware. I'm selling them some computers and some servers for their brand new office. Now what I can do is I can immediately have my purchase orders created for each vendor that I want to buy these products from. And then I can send out the purchase orders to my vendors, get all the product in. And then maybe at the end what I do is I, I go add in all my installation service costs on top of that and I package it all into a single invoice for the customer. So this build to order sales process is great for managing purchasing from other vendors in order to fulfill a single deal. And the case where this applies to, like, say, a service company would be an example of a travel agency. Um, let's say you book a vacation with a travel agent. Now the travel agent might set you up with a taxi, they might set you up with a flight, maybe they book some tours for you, and all of these are coming from different vendors but maybe the travel agency wraps it up into one simple price for you. 
So this allows them to easily intake one order, a trip, for their client, and then manage all the different components of the trip, send out orders to the various vendors, get everything scheduled in, and package it into one simple build for the customer to pay you with. So that's the build, build to order sales process. Then the last one is really the unique one. It doesn't follow the typical sales fulfillment invoicing flow as the other apps. Recruiting is kind of unique. It's a company who, well, you're not really selling a service, you're selling a per transaction, or of course there's different arrangements that they can do. But the key is your fulfillment is you have a job position and you need to fill a candidate to it. So we have an app that allows you to define job descriptions. We can post them up on your website. Candidates can actually browse them, submit their applications, and then you can track the candidate's status against each job, whether they've been interviewed yet or not, the notes that you had, the resume that you have for them. And then finally, you can move that through the process and actually hire them and track the full fulfillment there. So although it's for recruiting agencies, it does also fit for an HR professional or for a larger company who has a little bit more complex recruiting needs other than hiring the occasional employee. Okay, so these are the five primary applications. Like I said, they meet just about every business type. So the last step of today's presentation is just going to be talking about how you can go and set these up. Where do I find more information on these solutions and how to get started? So there's actually a nice little blog post online that you can refer to, and we'll go ahead and we'll hop into that right now. It just reiterates the various solutions that we've talked today, gives you a little bit more in-depth information, but the key is that it'll link you out to the unique guides for each one of these solutions. In case you lose track of this link right here, you can always head over to aptivo.com community, and that's our primary hub for customer information. So real quick, let's just wrap this up. We'll navigate to the aptivo.com website, and then we'll just go ahead and show you how to find both of these pages. Okay, so here I am on aptivo.com, and I'm on the blog. So if you look through the blog, you'll see right now it's a few posts down. By the time you're watching this video, it might be a little bit lower, but the key is, is, is selecting the right apps and building a business solution. Just click on this. You'll see the breakdown of the five solutions that we covered a little bit earlier. Get that similar flowchart we were checking out earlier, but then here. So if you discovered that the product sales process, it sounded right for your company, you can take a look right here. We have a written and a video guide on it. So the written guide will give you the, the full flow chart, which we saw a little bit earlier. Shows you the end-to-end -end process, gives you some examples, will run you through from each stage with screenshots and all that. And then also for each one of these, there's a full webinar. So just like today's presentation was centered around all the solutions, there's one presentation unique for each of the solutions. We'll actually walk through. We'll go through a full business process, explain some of the considerations you should make during the configuration, and give you all the tools that you need to get started. If you ever need any help, you don't have a, an answer inside of this one guide right here. Like I said, the community page up here in the upper right corner, this is your primary spot to get help. You'll see we have a couple of popular solutions listed right here, as well as some basic setup guides. You'll get a list of the blog posts down here, and you can also ask any question that you have. So if you ever have a question, you can ask it right here or you can always reach out to our support team. We have built-in support chat inside of the app. You can give us a call on our public support line, and we're available at support at aptivo.com. So we hope you found this solution useful, and welcome to the Aptivo community.